Hello! This is where I would usually say good morning, but I'm doing a night stream. <laughs> Couple of changes have happened. I moved my camera from my monitor to in front of me, and I got a ring light. I tried to adjust it so I don't look like a ghost, but I'm very pale. <laughs> so still a tad ghostish. <laughs> I tried to wear light colors so I didn't like disappear into my shirt, but I think it's not too bad. It'll definitely be better when the sun is out, but oh, well hello, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for the follow, Blabby. <laughs> I just, I had an idea for painting, I was so excited, I could not wait till tomorrow. Hello! <laughs> so I decided to try and do a night stream and test out the ring light. Not, not sure about that. Still, still somewhat ghosty. But it is my natural state. <laughs> but I hope you're having a wonderful evening, Blabby. Is Squash on? I don't know, I didn't look. Is that bad of me? Let's see. I'll take a peek here. Doesn't want to load. I made it mad. No, I don't see a Squash. No squash yet. No drop frames though. Tricky is also streaming in the other room, so if you hear some roarous laughter, that would be him. He is quite loud. <laughs> Playing with friends right now. Oh, fun! Oh, is it his, um... Now he's gonna go both the kids down for some quiet time. Oh, they're already asleep? That's glorious. <laughs> I don't have any children, but I hear all the stories about not sleeping. It sounds awful. So congrats <laughs> on both children being asleep. <laughs> Quite a feat. <laughs> oh, my captions stopped. Come on, captions. There we go. They're a little finicky. Okay. Alrighty, so I'll show you what my idea was. So it, the color got a little weird from the ring light, but I think you can still see. So I did a little sketch today that I really liked. It was like a window. I don't know if you can see it very well. I, I draw kind of very lightly. But the idea is I drew these little like shutters and then I cut them out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint around the edge and then cut out the middle. And then I'm going to make the little diagonals and tape them to the back. And then I'm going to have them open a little bit and there's going to be painting underneath. <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm going to try it though. I really love cut paper, which is what, no, oh, where is it? What that is? I did a long time ago. We'll see how it goes. Got to take advantage of being able to watch, oh, Game of Thrones. Can't watch it while Candace is awake. Yeah, that would be a, that'd be a rough one <laughs> to have that. What is she for? Four year old watch? <laughs> that might be a bit much. Right, so I'm going to leave these for now, and I'm going to do the wash I want to do on the other piece of paper. I guess I can move my inspiration on. You don't need that right now. Or you. Be gone. Man, I can't watch some of those Game of Thrones scenes. It is the too much for me. The story is awesome, though, and some of the characters are very cool. Yeah, not super appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> Just tad. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use my cold press for this because it's easier to do a wash on. And I didn't get my water. I was not prepared for this. We'll be right back. Walk of shame into the bathroom to get water. At least it's not far. Price is averted. We have water. I got my tea and everything, and then I forgot my water. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright, so, wash first. Man, I'm so excited. I'm thinking I'll paint this and then I'll cut it out. 
I think I'm just gonna, oh, excuse me, make these black. And I kind of want to do the frame like a dark brown. So let's see what we got here. Here's the brown I think I want to use. Hi, socks. We have a kitty. What are you doing, baby? Are you looking for trouble? When are you not looking for trouble, little boy? It's like I'm up from my nap now, Mom. I'm down for shenanigans. Sounds like your toddlers. Actually, you know what I should use for this? It's this big flat guy would do well. There we go. Cover all the space. I'm gonna press the internet is allowing both Tricky and I to stream at the same time. Good job, internet. <laughs> What season of Game of Thrones are you on? I don't know if you're you're looking at, but kind of had to watch it second hand. I watched the first season and then the other ones. I'm like, just tell me what happens. <laughs> I'll watch some of the episodes. <laughs> no, I don't need this to be. Perfect, so. Because what I'm actually gonna do is cut it up. Believe it or not. Oh, are you gonna lay down, Socks, and be a good boy? <gasps> Did I reach the bottom of my black tray? Uh oh. I mean. It is a very commonly used color. I guess it wouldn't be that surprising. No, I do need you to go up and down, I think. Well, what I want. Mmm, that's dark. Now, I don't understand why this Pokemon game will not stop. I have completely uninstalled it. <laughs> and it refuses to die. Not sure how to fix that. Gonna have to do some Googling. Because this is just silly. Don't have the panel anymore. It's not a component. Maybe there's something I need to put in chat. Alright, I think that's gonna be good. Almost blew in the brush. It's not a candle. <laughs> Big flat brush, I think you can take a break. They are done with you. Don't use you too often. Now I haven't quite decided what painting's gonna be like under all of this. We shall see. I love the fact that you have subtitles, it's amazing. Oh thanks, they're fairly new. I think this is the second stream with them. They're working out pretty well so far. Nice to meet you. Is that Juji? Is that how you say that? <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're doing some art today. A cool, like, we're doing a cut paper thing with a painting underneath. I'm quite excited. How is your evening going? Or morning, wherever you are. It's very dark here. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. I guess I can cut this out while it's wet, maybe? Oh no, I got black all over everything. <laughs> That's okay. Cut this out. Maybe it'll dry faster if it's separated. The subtitles or captions have definitely made it so I have to try not to slur as much. <laughs> like, speak loudly and clearly. Clearly. <laughs> really good having me. It's good. I decided this little project, I was pretty excited about it, 
So I didn't want to wait till my normal streaming time of tomorrow morning. I wanted to get it out of my head now. Are you an artist? Do you have any projects you're working on currently? Anything fun? Come out, come out. Why? Why you be this way? Ah, oh, there. User error, I think. <laughs> yeah. All right, maybe that'll dry a little quicker now. I did get some black on the other pages, but I think it'll be okay. Mm, I'm with you for now. No, Zanga, I used to do graffiti. Oh, I've never done anything like that. That seems like it'd be so hard to control with the big spray bottles and stuff. I like seeing those artists on Instagram and stuff that do like the like the scenes with the spray paint. Like you put a plate down and suddenly it just becomes a moon. Very cool. a few of these lines. Let's see it. Captions. I should probably erase some of these lines. <laughs> Enunciate. <laughs> no! <laughs> Enunciate. There we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but I used to do it on walls. I wasn't allowed to, so I stopped. Oh, yeah. Usually kind of frowned upon. In one of the cities I used to be from, they'd have, like, um, specific areas that you were, like, allowed to. It was, like, city-sponsored, like, art, kind of. It was very cool. Well, allowed or not is a an impressive technique. <laughs> A little lighter, a little lighter. Here in Portugal, it's quite different. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm in U the U.S. Is it a more accepted thing in Portugal? Like maybe more common? Maybe not common, I guess. You see it a lot here. Start with this one. Get a little base coat of some brown going on. There we go. Actually, might use a bigger brush. This one's just not holding enough. Let's use this one. <laughs> I haven't missed anything yet. No, Blabby, you haven't missed anything yet. <laughs> Just we got our our black gray down, and we're putting some light brown on our our window here. And it's not too bad if we don't stay in the lines because we're just gonna cut it out. <laughs> Really common, more of a tag artist than really graffiti. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Do you enjoy watching any other artists on Twitch? I've noticed that quite a few of them have added um, captions to their streams, which is where I got the idea. Thought I heard socks. I hear a cat crying in the background. You're fine. 
I don't know why that bleeped that out. All I said was I hear a cat crying. <laughs> Bleached that out. <laughs> Captions are silly. You're the first one? I'm the first one you're seeing? Maybe they're on a different time because of the time difference. There's quite a few um, uh, British art streamers that have captions, which is nice. And I mean, even if someone isn't hard of hearing, it's still like, if you can't watch with sound or something, it's still nice to have. They're not perfect, but, you know, it's trying. Okay, we got one layer down here. Start on this one. Everyone keeps saying that the Last of Us TV show that just came out is fabulous. I'm gonna have to check it out. I don't know about Pedro as the main character though. We'll see. That's Joel. See if he's any good. I'm yet to be convinced. <laughs> to play the game first. <laughs> They're wonderful games. I've never played them myself, but I've definitely watched plenty of playthroughs. What is the show about? I've heard so much about- oh, it's based off a, um, a series of games. There's two Last of Us um, games. They're very, very good and have a huge like fan base, so everyone was very worried that they would mess up the series or take it in a like completely different direction or something. But yeah, everyone seems like they're really excited about it. They must have done a good job. I wonder if they're gonna do, um... Gotcha, never heard of the game. Ooh, you should definitely, um definitely watch some playthroughs or maybe he can get Squash to play it. I'm a bit skeptical about the actors. Yeah, I don't really see Pedro as like a Joel type, but I mean people say he's good. So I'll give him a chance. <laughs> to look it up yeah it's very good very like emotional and heart-wrenching um it's very beautiful especially the second one it's set in the in washington state where i'm originally from and so when they're in seattle i'm looking at the streets going hey i've been there like <laughs> it's very pretty <laughs> keep telling myself that I'm gonna get an actual chair and not just sit on a stool. But I have not done it yet. <laughs> Ellie needs to be played to per yeah, perfect, knowing the game is a hard job. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really sad that the voice actress, actor, act actress that is now an actor, couldn't play, you know, but I mean, they're older now and a lot of other things, so. It's unfortunate, but hopefully the girl they got to play Ellie does a good job. Okay, we got one layer. Let's add, um, I think I want to make those kind of yellowy. Brassy almost. 
the little knobs on the window. There we go. It'll get darker, I promise. Gotta work light to dark. How about you, Blabby? Do you do any sort of art projects or crafty things? Need knitting, crocheting, scrapbooking. There. All right, let's go in with the darker brown now. How dark did I make this? Oh yeah, that's right, I added like a black and stuff to it in my last painting. Mm, that's not thick enough and it's definitely too black. I'm gonna add more brown to that, I don't like it. I'm gonna get the tubes out. Let's do it, we need some, some paint power in here. Where is the button? Of course it's on the bottom. There we go. Did anyone have the day off? No, it was a a holiday, a bank holiday today in the States. But no one I know actually got it off. <laughs> Not crafty with art or anything, I love to crochet. You love to crochet! I have tried it once, and oh my gosh, my carpal tunnel was very mad at me. <laughs> Thinking about starting to do some model kit car painting and building. Yeah, you should! There's a bunch of people um, on Twitch that paint, um, I don't know about cars, but paint Warhammer figures. Which is really cool. But I'm sure there'd be an audience for that if you wanted to stream it. But if it's just for your personal use, that's cool too. What do you like to crochet, Blabby? Are you doing like hats or little like stuffed animals or answer little like stuffed animals or little crocheted stuffed animals? <laughs> oh, captions. Okay, where's my paintbrush? Here we are. Alright, let's mix that in and see if we can make that more brown now. I did not like that color. There we go. That's already better, and I probably put way too much paint in there. Blankets are your favorite so far. Ooh, that's nice. Oh man, that's probably really convenient for like your kids and stuff too. You like don't even have to buy baby blankets. <laughs> I love doing big chunky blankets. My sister um, did the ones where you use your hands, you know, like the big thick yarn. There's one in my um, hope chest actually that she made me. Oh gosh, there's too much paint. What have I done? I definitely made it too thick. I like the color, but it's too thick. <laughs> no. When in doubt, throw more water in it. <laughs> okay, that's better. Oof. Save it. <gasps> okay, now we're gonna try this again. <laughs> I wasn't like, successful doing it with my hands, so I have a huge crochet hook. Oh, really? How big, how big is it? Like, inches wise? Is it like the size of my ruler? Is it like 18 inches? <laughs> that probably looks fairly comical. Like something out of one of those like cartoons or something. That'd be funny. But hey, if it works. And it sounds like it does. Okay. 
Yeah, that's such a nicer color. Let's get on the edge. Get on that edge. <laughs> but edge is gonna over there is gonna harden. Don't do it. No, you must be seeing this. Stop it. I haven't decided exactly what scene I'm gonna put underneath this yet. I'm kind of thinking I really liked it when I did those moons that I painted earlier. So I'm tempted. Ah, little tiny details. I am tempted to put another like moon in the background. I kind of think that might look pretty. Maybe with some flowers? I actually started art in school for a year and started studying cinema. Ooh, that's very cool. What kind of art? Did you have like a, a specific field of study? I went to school and I mostly did just um, drawing, like with charcoal. Not quite that large. Not quite an 18 inch ruler. <laughs> I always used to, um, in my previous job in Washington, I used to commute on the Sounder train. Um, and I always used to see people, like, crocheting or knitting on the train. And I thought that was so cool. Like, what a good idea. I mean, you're gonna sit there for half an hour, you might as well do something, right? I would usually just read, but it's much more productive. <laughs> brown on it. No. Okay. Okay. That one is good. Leave that there for now. We'll start on this one. really enjoy drawing buildings and city, oh, city perspectives and stuff. Ooh, that's nice. I don't, I don't have that ability to draw buildings nicely. I don't know if I just don't have the patience because <laughs> it's a lot of straight lines and I want them to be perfect. There's always a ruler involved and I prefer more organic things myself, but I'm always impressed when someone can draw a cityscape or a really cool, like, building in something. Do you have a favorite type of architecture you liked to draw? Like more modern or something more classical or historical? Fox, I'm over here. Why are you meowing? I hear your little sad kitty mews. Sitting in the room by himself. Meow, meow. <laughs> what was me? I remember doing all my. Oh, doing your room to practice while you were 15. Oh, that's a fun memory. I think I remember having a project similar to that. <laughs> must be a common art teacher thing that they do in school. Okay, that might be good. This is starting to dry. We might we might be able to do most of this tonight. 
that's almost done. So exciting. Okay. I don't know how much detail I want on these windows. That might be enough. Okay, and then I want more on this. That orange is too bright. Let's use this one, maybe. I have up here. Oh, you guys can't see it. Sorry. I have my, my paints up here. <laughs> I moved things around recently, so I had more room to draw. Paint, sorry. <laughs> oh no, there's a hair. Don't do it. No stray hair. afraid it's not gonna stand out if I make it too dark. Gosh, well hello! What are we drawing tonight? We are being extra ambitious tonight. I am trying to make a window that I'm going to cut out and like tape kind of together that opens and has a painted seam behind it. So we're doing a little bit of painting, we're doing a little bit of cut paper, a little, getting a little creative. I usually stream tomorrow morning, but I was excited about this one. <laughs> I really wanted to try it. How's your evening going? Get in there. That one got a little too wet. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Are you working any on anything super creative tonight or have any art projects of your own? Pretty good. Going to be early busy day. Oh. Yeah, I heard it's been a bit of a Monday for people. <laughs> that happens sometimes though. Unfortunately, it's unavoidable sometimes. those at that for now. Doing some mini painting for my D&D group. Ooh, that's nice. Man, you have to have such a cool setup to be able to do miniature painting. I had somebody uh, paint my miniature for me just because I didn't want to have to buy all the tiny itty bitty little brushes and all the little fancy paints and some people have airbrushes. It's very impressive. <laughs> Plus they're so small. Okay, I think this is dry pile of paper in the corner. What kind of um, characters are you painting right now? Any elves? Those are always my favorite. <laughs> Alright, so I want this to be very, very thin and I'm gonna have to cut it out, probably with my scissors. I'm a little nervous. gosh. They're not probably going to be as thin as I want just for practicality's sake. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the whole setup. I take the smallest little brush they sell and make it even smaller. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you actually encouraged me, so I just ordered my first model car kit. Thank you. Oh, that's so exciting. You're welcome. Well, I'm glad just hanging out with me doing some art could inspire you to want to do your own again. What kind of um, card did you buy? Which model? A rogue dwarf for me and doing a high quality job on the BBEG for the DM. I don't know what a BBEG is. Um, I've played D&D before, but it's been a while. I play more Warhammer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and be ambitious 
And I want, actually I kind of want to cut off this first one. So it doesn't have all the black, no. Hi Nimbus. Hello sweet boy. Yeah, we have a kitty visitor. What's up little baby? Hi. Yeah, you're gonna tease everyone's meows and then never show your face? Alright, we're gonna try to do just two little ticks over. Oh man. Big bad evil guy. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> a Toyota Supra Mark IV from Japan. Ooh. That'll be fun. Have you decided what color you're going to do it already? Or do you have to wait and see it first? And it'll it'll let you know. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm so nervous about this. And I feel like my eyesight, I'm going to, like, take my glasses off or something and get, like, real close to it. <laughs> You're feeling old when. <laughs> the glasses you used to see are making things worse. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. I'll do this first strip and then I'll kind of show you guys what I'm trying to accomplish. <laughs> Like that. Oh boy. Something really basic to start. Okay, well, that, you know, that's fine. You gotta start somewhere. And it's been a while, you said. All right. I'm really nervous about this first one. <laughs> we'll see if my idea is gonna work or if I have to do something else. This would be the perfect time to have one of those paper cutters and just go down the line. <laughs> because I need a lot of these. <laughs> but alas, we do not have that. Oh gosh. I feel like this would also be a great time to be like left-handed. Uh, nobody blink or breathe and we'll be okay. like that. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll just say, if it's not perfect, that it's a very old window or it's full of character. Alright? Oh, that's how that works. That's just so thin. Okay. So the idea <laughs> is to have these running like this way. Yeah? Yeah? Like that? And then... Like that? <laughs> Does that make sense? But they're so thin! This is gonna take me a little while. Okay, I kinda wanna cut the windows out now. For that, we're gonna use the X-Acto knife. I should get one of those, like, really nice ones with, like, the grip on it. Here goes nothing. I haven't tried to cut through watercolor paper before. It's kind of thicker than normal paper, so hopefully it's not too bad. I'm guessing it might take a couple tries to get all the way through it. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't get all the way through. I'll have to do it again. That, there's already a track in there. Oh, music, you have terrible timing. So did we get through this time? We did. Okay, good. All right, back to our, fixing our music. There we go. Captions, are you working? Perfect. All right, I didn't break anything. All right, let's see if we can manage a somewhat straight line. Oh, oh, we're already getting a little, a little into it. 
Oh no! <laughs> It'll be mostly straight. <laughs> Go this way. There we go. Okay, so this little connecting piece didn't quite let go. Sorry, I'm probably sticking my head in the camera. Come on, paper. Behave yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. We're making progress. Monastery. You'll be alright. <clears throat> You'll be alright. More tea needed to fortify. Alrighty. Okay. Little corner piece. Come here. Oh my goodness, let go. No. Man, I'm gonna get this project done, and then tomorrow I'm not gonna know what to do with myself because I'll have already done the thing I was so excited for. <laughs> How long have I been doing arts and crafts? Oh gosh. I mean, forever? <laughs> I was always that kid that was like drawing in a room or whatever. And then I went to um, college and I got an art degree and then I did nothing with it for about... Let's see, when did I graduate? <laughs> I'd say nothing with it for probably 10 years. <laughs> uh, and then I... During that pandemic, I um, had a watercolor thing. I started playing around with watercolors and thought that was fun and then I started streaming about a month and a half ago give or take I was like I'm currently not working it's a reason to just be creative and I was gonna do it anyway um, awesome that I have a degree <laughs> didn't really do me anything for me but it was a really great experience I got to study abroad in Italy for their art program so I think I learned more from just being in school than I did from my actual, like, field of study. You know what I mean? But I loved school. It was so great. I liked going to classes and just the, the beautiful campus and that kind of stuff. Did you get to go to college or anything? Oh, I'm jealous about Italy, one of the top places I want to go. It was great. I will admit, I really um, enjoyed our stay. We were there for three months. We got to see a lot of the country because we went up north and then we went down south, but we mainly stayed in Rome. If you can swing it, it was a very good time. I really, I think my favorite place that wasn't like a ruin of any sort was um, Milan, which is up north. I went to culinary school for a while. Ooh, I cannot cook. <laughs> I am a very bad cook. So I am definitely jealous of your culinary abilities. Okay, one down. I kind of want to, like, paint in the, you know what I mean? So it's not white. I think we might do that. What's your favorite thing to cook? Like desserts or meats? Tricky likes to smoke things on his smoker. And I like to make banana bread because we end up with a lot of bananas that are going bad. <laughs> My favorite thing to cook and is to cook and bake. 
Oh, I put our dinner in Pork's food channel last night. Ooh, let me go see. <laughs> Tricky posted his eggs. <laughs> Ooh, that Sunday dinner does look delightful. I'm usually... Banana bread is my favorite. You know what's so silly? So, this will tell you... <laughs> Just how how great I am at baking. So, <laughs> um, I was starting to make banana bread, right? I'm like, okay, I got my cups of flour, I got my thing, and I went to get the bananas, and they were too far gone. They were like really gross inside, and I'm like, well, I've started making banana bread. <laughs> now what do I do? I don't want to throw all this stuff away. So I was googling like frantically, like what's a good substitute for bananas. <laughs> And it's like yogurt and stuff. I'm like, I don't have yogurt in my fridge. And so I found that strawberries could be a replacement. And we had frozen strawberries. So I microwaved some strawberries and stuffed that in there. And now we have strawberry bread. It actually turned out fairly good. <laughs> At least I think so. Turkey's not a fan. <laughs> so I've been eating strawberry bread. <laughs> Made chocolate chip banana bread once. It was so yummy. I honestly think with bananas, they can't be too far gone for bananas. They were, honestly, they were like black and slimy inside. I was like, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> but that seems like a bad plan. <laughs> I, was, I was not so sure about the bananas. That, look, that looked a little iffy. It's like, mm, I have a very sensitive stomach. I don't know about that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not. I'm not a cook. I don't have the patience for it. Oh no, my lines messed right. <gasps> oh, we'll just fill it in with brown. No one will notice. Maybe there's an exception, right? Like I didn't think so either. Thought like banana bread. That's the point. The bananas are going bad. That it just looked wrong. I'm like maybe not. Maybe not this time. <laughs> but the strawberries, I think, turned out pretty good. So. You're in the mood to experiment with your banana bread. Strawberries. How many? I don't know. Whatever we had in the package. <laughs> my favorite thing to cook is probably lasagna or shepherd's pie. Ooh. My favorite thing to bake is strawberry and cream cookies. Man, that sounds so fancy. I think the last cookies I made were like peanut butter cookies, but they were... <laughs> Really simple peanut butter cookies. They had like, I think the ingredients were like sugar and peanut butter, and that was kind of it. <laughs> but strawberry and cream cookies, that sounds great. However, it sounds very complicated. <laughs> I promise they aren't, they're so easy. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you. You're one of those cooking people. It always says, no, no, it's so easy. I'm like, no, that means you need exact measurements and like really weird specific ingredients. <laughs> Not convinced. <laughs> but you could definitely drop a recipe. Maybe in Pork's food channel and I'll, th I'll think about it. If I'm feeling ambitious one day. Maybe I could try it. I mean, I have nothing but time right now. I can send you the recipe, I promise. <laughs> oh, I hate that this part is just a little too... I'm cutting myself on this. Don't do it. Not on Twitch. Get myself in trouble. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose, I promise. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, that makes me happy. Let it go. You sound over here like Elsa. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're getting there. One side left, and then we can go back to our itty bitty little measurements. Which I'm sure is oh so riveting. 
don't cut yourself. I did it last time I cooked it. It was not fun. Oh, ooh, yeah, I'm real paranoid about that. But Family Secret Turkey had this beautiful, like, I, I don't know, it might be a fillet knife. And he was cutting a brisket with it once. God, he got a little slice on his hand. I was so bad at him. A, how dare you cut yourself with your fancy knife? And B, how dare you get blood on the brisket? <laughs> kitchen shears to cut green beans with? I mean, I do love my kitchen scissors. Not gonna lie. Don't blame you for wanting to use them. Alright, did that go through? It got pretty close. So close, almost. Urgh. Go. Oh, did so for Thanksgiving last year, Tricky and I made the Game of Thrones cookbook. We picked some things out of there and made a Game of Thrones meal. So I, I would recommend if you're actually a good cook, because I'm, I'm not a great cook, but we still managed it. I recommend that cookbook. I think my favorite thing in there was the the turnips and butter. Good. Did not know I liked turnips and, until that. <laughs> yeah, they have a cookbook. Tricky got it for like a, a Christmas or a birthday gift one year. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. Okay. Yes, there is a cookbook. And if you like Game of Thrones and you like cooking. I think that would be right up your alley. This spot is a little too... It doesn't have enough color on it. Oh my gosh. Behave yourself. a little wobbly. Totally about to Amazon it. You should! Some of the recipes, it's really cool. So they have like two recipes for each thing. They have like a, um, a medieval recipe, which has like more unique ingredients and stuff. And then they have a modern recipe of that same thing usually. We tried to stick to the medieval ones. Hi, Alex, baby. I see you down there. That's very good. I don't know how many of these I need to do. Quite a few, probably. Planning. To the grind. <laughs> Sorry for having to stare at the top of my head. <laughs> I moved the camera thinking you'd see less at the top of my head. Don't think that is the case. Oh, hi, baby. You go lay down in the chair. Digga boy. He's so cute. He's in the, the tiny little corner down there. There's a, there's a chair with a like a faux fur on it. The kitties love it. I could probably just guesstimate some of this, but oh, I'm paranoid I'm going to mess it up. have one that's the Feast of Ice and Fire and then the regular one. I think it's... Do you want, do you want me to go get it? I, I can go get it. <laughs> I want to say I think it's Feast of Ice and Fire, but I'm not sure. Oh, hi, Nimbus. Okay, hang on. This calls for... This calls for me to actually go get the cookbook. So, you hold your horses. I will go get it. <laughs> one moment. It's a serious business.
Let's pull out that is. Give me a sweet one. Okay. <laughs> Detour. Feast of ice and fire. <laughs> Turnips and butter. <laughs> They're delightful. Or medieval armored turnips. Um, we didn't end up doing those. And then we did a roast with with leeks. It turns out I really like leeks. I didn't know that either. I like turnips and I like leeks. They have some cool meat pies. Ooh, the there's a black bread too. Oh, very good. And then they have some um, interesting, like, things in the front that are like the basics of some medieval meals. And they have a, a medieval black pepper sauce in here that was, oh my god, it's so good. It was like this weird, it requires you to, to burn bread. And so it was, it's a whole thing. You should just get it. Just get it. You're a cook. It'll be even better when you make it. <laughs> If it was decent when we made it, it'll be great when you make it. <laughs> but it was a good time trying to find some of the ingredients. I had um, pretty good luck at, I think it was Sprouts that's by us. They had a lot of the weird, like weirder ingredients. Like I had to find actual rye flour for the bread, which they did not have at my H-E-B. <laughs> so. But yeah, all the like more and maybe maybe Whole Foods would have it or something you know what I mean more specialty grocery stores no where's my line there's but yes it was it was very good highly recommend the the best thing I've ever eaten <laughs> Turkey was like, really? I mean, it was okay. I'm like, this is glorious. I could eat it every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> Dark bread, buttered turnips, roasted leeks, and um, a nice roast. Oh, oh, so good. Now I'm hungry again. <laughs> what did I have for dinner? I think I had leftover pizza. <laughs> you have hit with four ads. I'm sorry. I run a minute 30 every half an hour so that there's no pre-rolls for people coming in. I do apologize. I was just going on about the food. <laughs> gonna be great. I'm so excited that you're gonna get the cookbook. Should hear that one. Okay, back. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't. I never know what's better. Is it is it worse to have pre rolls or is it worse to have them at thirty? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it is annoying. Like when I go to raid people and I go in there and then it's like I just have to sit through ads before I know what they're doing. So I just I don't know. I don't know where the the balance is on that one. Where's my line? There it is. This one's a little thicker than the others. Oops. <laughs> She's a little thicker. <laughs> be okay. It doesn't have to be all the same. It just has to be kind of similar. We can trim it up a little bit, I think. Mm, 
What season of Game of Thrones are you on? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong screen. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't do Twitch very much, only every once in a while. Yeah. That's weird. It's definitely a beast to try and figure out. Tricky and Pork have been very helpful. <laughs> well, in season three. Oh, okay. Do you know the story at all or anything? Or are you trying to, like, no spoilers? idea was to cut up this whole page but now I kind of want to start seeing how many I actually need. <laughs> okay I think that would be good do you have a favorite character oh you don't know the story okay okay I won't I won't try and I'll try not to spoil anything Favorite person so far is Tyrion. I think he is. Period. I think he is a fan favorite. I don't think it matters who you are. I think he's definitely, definitely a fan favorite. How could you not, right? How could you not love that man? Okay. Let's see. My absolute mess that's happening here. It doesn't help that they're like twisting. Oh no. Okay, so here's the idea. Well, I guess I don't have to make as many if I space them out a little more. Come here. Get in there. Be a good mock-up. Does that make sense? I cannot stand Joffrey. Oh my gosh. Me neither. He was so good at just making everybody hate him. <laughs> he was the worst. Don't worry, you're not alone in your hate for Joffrey. Definitely not. I just want to cut some and see if I can get close. Is that stupid? Is it, am I just being impatient? <sighs> this is already not. No good angle on this. Art problems. <laughs> Taking a risk, let's see. Ooh, goes flying. I mean, that's not awful. We're definitely getting thicker as I go. I might not use the super skinny one that I made. <laughs> but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Looks good, thank you. I can't believe how fast they killed off Ned Stark. Yeah. I mean, but that's what's his face is curse, right? That particular actor. Anybody who he plays, you know, is going to die. A poor man. Whether it be Ned Stark or Boromir, he is not long for this world. He's so good, though. I really liked him. Oh! It went flying. No, no. Paper down. Paper down. I don't even know where you went. You're so small. Where did you go? Oh gosh, that was way too thick. That's like two and one. Lying around. 
I know, it's like... I think he could too. I was sad they killed him off. Yeah. They killed him off so quickly. I know, right? I don't want to try and chop this one in half. It's really thick. Man. I'm not sure how this is going to go. to aim the scissors. I feel like it was like almost the first episode he died. <laughs> it felt like that at least. Like we just learned like his name and now he's gone. We learned his name, we learned that we liked him and now no more. <laughs> How rude. gonna be like one of the side bits. It's so little. Okay, yeah, that was bad end there. Here we go. There's definitely a colorful cast of characters for sure. I think he was a good hand of the king. Yeah, oh you have you have such an adventure to go on. <laughs> Still <laughs> I think Tyrion did a good job as the hand, too. I'm trying to think. Like, first or to third season, who my favorite character was. I didn't actually watch, like, every episode. So I just know, like, the story, kind of, you know? And that, that gets mixed up. I don't want to spoil anything. There was just, like, some parts of it got too graphic for me. I couldn't and watch that. I have a hard time with people being mean to other people and like in shows and stuff. I know I need to catch up. <laughs> Hi, Nimbus. Are you back? I'm a sweet boy. Oh, my other kitty left. Like, I can't watch The Walking Dead either. I can't do it. They're just so, like, it's not the zombies that, that bother me. It's just the people are so awful to each other. I can't do that. I can't have that amount of stress in my life. <laughs> oh. I feel like I miss out sometimes, but I get the general story. I do think I watched like a really bad episode of The Walking Dead. Like, one of the first ones I saw was, like, a bunch of people died, and it was awful, and I was like, what is going on? Why do people like this? This is horrible. <laughs> I never got into The Walking Dead. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Just give me so much anxiety. Like, I'll, I'll take zombies. Like, it's so... Oof. The, the people being so mean. Can't do it. But I've been re-watching Lord of the Rings. We have the extended bo box set. That's been really fun. And we just watched Two Towers this weekend. <gasps> Somebody fed! Labby fed the Zeno! I love him. He's so cute. I'm so excited that they had a Zeno pet. <laughs> I have a face hugger. Up here, lurking. <laughs> I feel like that'd be really fun to have, like, behind me if I ever played Alien Isolation. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my god, gives me anxiety. The Star Wars or Star Trek? Okay, come on now. That's you can't, you can't pick, like, which Star Wars or which Star Trek because I grew up watching Star Trek: Next Generation, so it holds a special place in my heart. And then the like the. Excuse me, rebooted Star Trek movies came out while I was in college. So that was really exciting. But I also grew up like with this original three Star Wars VHS box set. So like I love me some Han Solo <laughs> and a Chewy. But I also think Kylo Ren is really hot. So I you know <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Oh, 
I, I don't know if that's a choice I can make. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. What about you, Blabby? Do you have a do you have a favorite? My dad had every season. Well, hello there. Hello. Ooh, Aries. I'm an Aries myself, so I approve of your name. My dad had every season an episode on DVD for Star Trek, so I'm a Trekkie for life. Oh, we watched every single movie together. Even all the different um, like seasons and stuff. Tricky and I just finished watching um, the newest Star Trek on. I don't really know. It might have been Paramount. It was very, very good though, actually. I mean, they have the Vulcan's kiss, which made me mad. But other than that, <laughs> it was good. <laughs> All of it. Oh, that's great. I do love Captain Guitar, the card. How about you, Aries? How's your night been going? And are you a Star Trek or Star Wars fan? Because that is the hot topic for today, <laughs> apparently. Okay, now how do I be strategic? Oh, I'll just do it backwards. What's wrong with me? I'm over here trying to make things complicated. Oh, I didn't have enough art time with Quartz, so I'm jumping in here. Oh, well, thank you so much for coming over from there. I love her stuff. She's so sweet. I am trying to make art complicated right now. So the idea is to have these little windows with like a little um, diamond pattern and to have them open and have a painting underneath it. <laughs> I got so excited I couldn't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I haven't watched any of the new stuff, but I liked Lower Decks on Paramount. I didn't watch that one. Was that a... That song was, sounds like that SNL skit that... That, um... Frick, what's his name? Adam Driver did. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think be smart about this. How do we... How do we do this? Gosh, I wish I remembered what that... That Star Trek was called. It was so good. It's... I don't think it's Discovery. That's a different one. Not Discovery. Oh, it's an animated Star Trek. Oh, okay, okay. Those ones are about the same size. You're pretty close. I'm gonna like take all the like really itty bitty ones and hold them to the side. Those are gonna go in the corners, I think. Organize you by size. Picard. We did uh, watch Picard, and we also liked that one. But no, this is a different one. I had Captain Pike in it. A beautiful heart for sure. Love the vibe here too. And I would have to say Star Wars, Lord of the Rings above everything. I have been watching it again. I just, the extended version is so good. I'm seeing so many scenes I didn't know existed. I was a Legolas fan growing up as a... See, when did they come out? I think I was a preteen when they were coming out. But now as a, as a grown woman, I appreciate me some Aragorn, I must say. Must say. <laughs> and I don't fault Elrond for his crankiness. <laughs> I'm sure it's rough being a dad. <laughs> it's gonna drive me crazy that I can't think of the name. <laughs> that Star Trek thing we were watching, I bet you Tricky knows. I'll have to ask him again. Oh. Here cursing in the other room. He must have lost the game he was playing. <laughs> I'm not addicted to Lord of the Rings. I'm only at I've only watched each of F50's time. <laughs> no, not addicted. You're good. <laughs> That's just like a healthy appreciation, right? <laughs> That's what that means. I'm not sure. Just gonna start taping things. We can make it cute later. We, we gotta get it on there first. This is not an exact science. <laughs> okay, 
like that. Just, yeah, there. That's that's good. Just just on there. We're just looking for on there currently. And then I'll do them both kind of at the same time. So hopefully they stay kind of. What did I do for Cricket? Everyone knows them by word. By word. I am right. <laughs> I love the scene we just watched the extended version of the the second one. And I love the scene scene at Helm's Deep when he's like, "You're going to have to toss me. <laughs> Don't tell the elf." <laughs> it's so funny. I love Gimli and Legolas. They crack me up. Okay, let's think. Did you watch the, um, what was it, The Rings of Power that came out? I didn't. I was okay with some of it. We watched a couple episodes. I didn't really like what they did with the Galadriel, though. I was, I was not really a fan of the character that they made her in that. It was a little sad. Not my favorite. Oh gosh, that one gets kind of skinny. Hmm, maybe we'll do these two. Yeah, I might need more of these. Let's see. I might do some trimming here. Okay, where's like the corner? Like there? Call that the corner. Blabby, if you've watched all the Star Trek, does that mean you have a favorite one? I watched a few but lost track and right. Maybe that's why I stopped. Something seemed off. Yeah, it just wasn't... I don't know. Like, that's not the Galadriel that I, I really loved. But who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go back to it eventually. Goodness, take her being a menace. That's my kind of Oh gosh. Oh gosh, don't do it. Don't cause me problems, tape. Okay. Let's see if I can actually get that off now. Is that come off? Yeah, there we go. Success. Okay. Chill over there. Don't think I have a favorite, honestly. I love them all. Oh. <laughs> I do have a Tribble, like a little furry Tribble, on my, on my other computer over by Tricky. <laughs> That's on my desk. <laughs> Definitely you. You're bigger. Like that? Like that. Yeah. Could just be we're hoping for too much from it. Yeah, that's true. High expectations since the movies were just absolutely masterpieces. I would not be surprised. I don't know. I'd do do that. That would be a hard act to follow. Not gonna lie. And the casting was so good, too. They did a great job. It's hard to think of movies where they did like a good job like that. I think there's very few of them. I feel like Lord of the Rings did a great job with its casting and staying true to like the story and stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna put out there that I think Harry Potter did a good job with its casting. What do you guys think? I was also the right age to love Harry Potter. Since I am a good millennial. <laughs> I know my Hogwarts house. <laughs> You think so too? 
Yeah, I think they did a good job with that too. I definitely had a large crush on Draco Malfoy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I thought he was so cute. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. We now are both kind of about the same size. You're the itty bitties. So now we have to ask ourselves, do we attempt to measure? Great choices for sure, yeah. Ah, so the bad boys. I mean, Legolas was not a bad boy. I think maybe it was just like the blonde. Maybe I had a thing for blondes when I was younger. <laughs> Don't tell Tricky. <laughs> He is definitely not blonde. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. It's a very long time ago. I kind of want to try to be a little exact. I need like a smaller ruler. This thing is so big. <laughs> I want to be a little exact. Okay, let's see. I want to make him um, like small enough that we get at least a couple of the little like diamondy bits. I don't want to have none, you know? Because that's no fun. I can always cut more. Lips are sealed. <laughs> He'll never watch the VOD. It'll be okay. We'll, we'll be alright. The secret is safe. <laughs> that? Like that maybe? Here, let's make like a, let's say like a little guide or something, a little piece of paper that is the size that I want. Use this. Come here. Come here, scrap paper. Excuse me. Okay, let's see. Maybe actually like half of that would be great. Yeah, we'll try that. All right, getting creative. Let's do it. <laughs> Should make two be even better. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, oh, that's not gonna go far. Okay. That's alright, that's alright. Let's stick you guys there. And then I need a piece of tape. Where'd my tape go? Oh! Oh my god! Tricky! What are you doing? Everyone, Tricky is my boyfriend, who is absolutely lovely, and just gifted five more subs to people. <laughs> Darlin', you're so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Everyone's the one's gonna have feathers. Feathers for everybody. <laughs> You silly man. <laughs> Does that mean gaming went well? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, it goes forever. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Can't wait to show him when we're done. Ooh, perfect timing. I think the music stopped. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, darling. <laughs> Are you on right now or did you just pop in? How was gaming with the boys are you guys still going yeah. 
Okay, I think that works. <laughs> Silly boyfriend. <laughs> Alright. Does it look like our little templates marked out? I think they might have. There, we'll try that. that'll look good. I'm so excited to cut it all off and then turn it over for the reveal. <laughs> so many little pieces of tape everywhere. I have a tape pile. Don't be that way. Bonjour! Well, hello, Mud. Tricky just got a bunch of people's subs, and you happen to be happen to be one. You have your own feather now. <laughs> Sorry, this is not super exciting part. This is like construction part. The reveal will be after when we turn it over. <laughs> it might be a minute. <laughs> you have to see the picture later, I guess. <laughs> but right now we're striving with the tape. Don't be this way, tape. That sexy beast tricky, yeah. <laughs> How'd the rest of your stream go? Were you hoping for a, a speed run, or was it just like practice for one? Mud does a bunch of speed runs for Resident Evil on his channel. for the tricky since he just gave so many subs. <laughs> Went really good. Beat RE3 on comp playthrough and then came close on beating my RE2 personal best. Oh, that's awesome. Congrats. That's very exciting. I don't know how you do that. Like, those games are so stressful as is and you're over here just like running through it. <laughs> I have to clean this up a little bit. I think we might use those pieces though. Okay, then we'll go the other way. Lots and lots of practice. Yes. <laughs> Twitch, I'll wait. <laughs> Making me wait. Alright, back to our template here. Trying to keep things together a little bit. Let's see, tip, tip, tip. I'm impressed. Internet's still doing good with both of us streaming.
Yeah, I don't have the shout out command. I use the other thing. There it goes. It's been long enough. <laughs> if anyone likes some sweet, sweet <laughs> Ari personal best videos and stuff. He also has a YouTube channel. Hear Tricky yelling in the other room. <laughs> Must be chaos. <laughs> I'm hoping you guys can't hear him. I don't have my door closed because I don't want the cats to be screaming at it. Because, you know, as soon as I close the door, that's when they're like, Oh no, mom's closed the door? How dare she? I can't close the door. Let's see. Like that. Yeah. Okay. There. Any more tape? I was originally planning to like do like one big piece of tape down the sides, but I guess I can't really be careful about it if I'm laying on multiple pieces at a time. hope this turns out. <laughs> it's definitely taken a lot of time. I'm really excited about it, guys. So excited. 3D with watercolor painting. Definitely hoping for good things. Oh no, tape. Maybe next time I can use glue, but I don't know what kind of glue I'd use. I feel like hot glue would just get absolutely everywhere. I think if the piece was bigger, hot glue could work. But with it being so small, I'm not sure if that's really gonna work the way I want it to. Maybe like a glue stick, like as I'm placing them, and then like tape to reinforce after. That might work. Cutting fingers. We already decided. We're going to leave here with all of our fingers tonight. There we go. No. Definitely some trim work needed. Okay. All right. We're getting there. Closer. <laughs> I went to Turkey's channel. Tell them to quiet down. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's a hard... <laughs> that's a hard app. <laughs> that is one loud, boisterous man. We are definitely a case of opposites attract. <laughs> but it keeps life interesting. Here, I'll give you a peek if you're still here. That's kind of what we're working with. <laughs> we'll have to clean it up here, but I don't want to move these so there. Let's see if they're looking symmetrical. There. I see it a little better. <coughs> Excuse me. That's good. Thanks. <laughs> Just to start. <laughs> Not the actual painting part. It looks good so far. I might have to cut a few more of these, actually. Let's do one more that's like this kind of thicker. Because I don't want it to be too crazy. Maybe a, maybe a couple more. Oh, 
that didn't turn out too bad. I just, oh, I have exciting news that I think Blabby can relate to. I just heard that my friend is pregnant with her second child. Or she's gonna have it in July. So that is pretty exciting. She's very thrilled. And she's a very good mom. But I think it will be a good thing. She's got one already. Like the happiest baby. <laughs> but she is thrilled. Oh no, you came up. You stopped it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's use one of these new guys. How exciting! Yeah! She's gonna wait to find out if it's a boy or a girl till it's born. They have a boy already. She said I was the first person she told, which was super sweet. And also kind of funny, because I'm the one that doesn't like children. <laughs> My first question is, is always, are we, we're excited about this, right? This, is, this was a good thing. It's like, yes, okay. We were, we were hoping for this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. What is she hoping for? I don't know. She's got a boy. But she was saying she she now knows how to be a boy mom, so she's not sure how she feels about trying to be a girl mom. But I mean, either way, I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't think she'd she'd be she wouldn't be disappointed either way. But I think she's a little apprehensive if it's a girl. <laughs> she's like I've already been a boy mom for for a little over a year now, so I know how to I know how to boy. <laughs> I don't know how to girl. <laughs> I was going to say that in the mud, yeah. <laughs> but either way, it's just very excited. And she didn't have any trouble with the last one, so knock on wood. I'm learning about boys now, yeah. I told her, hey, if it's a boy, you can just use all the same hammy notes and stuff, and it won't, be any, it won't be weird. Girls are so easy, I swear. It's just the sass that gets you from time to time. <laughs> yeah, she's really enjoying the boy that she has. So I don't know, maybe she could be a mom of two boys. Or maybe she'll be a mom of a boy, and then they'll have a younger sister. Which would also be adorable. Let go tape. There we go. Oops. I might want that one. Go back. Wrong pile. My mom really wanted a boy and she ended up with three girls. <laughs> so careful about keeping Keeping and trying. You never know what you're gonna get. I always wanted an older brother, but one out of five girls. Yeah, see? They keep trying, but sometimes... It's just not meant to be. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what. I was not pleased to be an older sister when I was young. <laughs> Technically, I'm the middle child now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am the oldest. By six and eight years. And I was not happy to be an older sister when I was younger. I didn't like my sisters till they were older. Because <laughs> when they're that much younger than you, you're like a second mom, you know? You do babysitting and that kind of stuff. And I was not having it. But we all get along now. Our age range, 30 to 4? Oh my gosh. That sounds like uh, my boyfriend, Tricky. He he um, was the the oops baby when his parents were in his 40s. So like they'd already had all their kids. <laughs> but his, his um, like sister and stuff is my mom's age and his parents are my grandparents' age. It's a whole thing. <laughs> he was the, yay, all our, parents, our kids have left the house. Oh no. 
There's another one. <laughs> I'm 17 years older than one, 23 years older than the other. Oh my gosh! Talk about an age range. <laughs> I can't imagine having siblings that far apart. It must just feel like having your own kid at some point, you know? Like. That's gotta be so hard. I thought it was weird when they were six and eight years apart. You're over here like, psh, that's nothing. You know, I guess sister and my daughter are the same age. My sister was an aunt at seven months old. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, hopefully they'll be the best of friends. And it'll just be a funny story. <laughs> Not really that bad. Me and the one ten years older oh, super close. Oh. Look. Oh boy, okay. Is that... Oh gosh, did I make it weird? Do I need another one, like, right there? I made it weird. No, I made it weird. <laughs> no, I made it weird. <laughs> oh boy. They're such good friends, like two peas in a pod. Oh, that's cute. But, for these little weird areas, I have these, like, itty-bitty ones. Let's use one of these. Yeah. Just, come here. That's far too long. I have another friend. So all my friends, all my lady friends, are married and have children. <laughs> I'm the only one that does not. Um... But my other one, her and her sister purposely have their children, like, uh, very, like, close together. And so they have really fun cousins to play with constantly. Because they're, like, the same age, practically. So they, they really enjoy that life. And they live really close to each other. They wanted to make sure they... They weren't going to have a brother and sister. They at least had fun cousins close by to play with. Come on. Behave yourself. Tape. Don't be like that. Okay. I think that's good. Come here. And here. I feel like there's not enough tape on that, but I mean, there is. should be thinking of what to put in the window. I do kind of think the moon idea would be cute because I've done that before. And those look pretty fun. But also, I like the idea of flowers. Just don't know. Did you get a little off? They got a little off. <gasps> no, you two don't like that. Don't like that. I fix it. Come on. Get fixed while I'm looking at it. Ooh, 
Oof. Let's try and make it close if I can. Okay. In here. Here we go. Perfect. I'm trying to debate if I should play any games on stream. I don't know, though. Because I do like to game from time to time. We, like, have a specific day for it or something? There's some artists that do that, but I don't know. I guess I shouldn't branch out too far. I haven't even done this very long. Side done. We know we gotta go the other way. All right, but I need a bathroom break real quick, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so we've gone this way, and now we gotta go the other way. I think I'll use these two probably. Actually, this one looks pretty good. Maybe these two. I'll go this way. One there and one there. Hopefully, I won't have any awkward spots. I don't think I will in this direction. I think we'll be okay. It seems kind of smaller. Yeah, I think it'll be good. All right, let's go back to it. I'm excited. Okay, almost done with these windows. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh, it's already 9:30. nowhere I'm getting tired maybe I should make this a two-part thing do the windows today and the painting tomorrow no but then that won't be very fun I want to see it done though this depends we'll see we shall see there it is okay I'm like I lost my thing
All right, give me my little spacers. Come here, before you get trapped in the lattice. <laughs> Gosh. Cool. Cool, cool. I think that's gonna look pretty. Oh, is this one long enough to do the... I don't know if it'll be long enough to do the top piece. Let's see, how far is that? How far? It's just short, so I'll use a different one. This one, I think, will be okay. All right, need my tape. The oh, are his captions not working? Oh, they are. I'm just quiet. Sorry, he's right. scooting. There. <laughs> Need to stretch it. If I'm going this way, I need you to be this way. Okay. So you go here. Seems about right. A Pokemon game will not quit. I swear. There we go. Wait, where is the? Where is it? You like there? on it though. If that's not gonna stay as is, come here tape. Oh my goodness. Work with me tape. Yeah. I think I might cut some from the other side too. Technical difficulties, why? Why don't you do this to me? Okay, that's all right. Hmm. Okay, it's free. <laughs> oh gosh. how thick it get with that tape. It's kind of cool that they're actually like meeting up though. I feel like that means I'm doing something right. <laughs> All right, one down, one to go. Oh, they still have a whole one, perfect. Maybe I don't need it though. And I feel 
feel like they're like just too short. Just a little, we'll use the one we have. Spacers out. Definitely harder to go on the second layer. Alright, and I know it's gonna need up with that now, so I can kinda aim too. And you over here. Okay. There's too big. Maybe up a little higher. Maybe. Yeah, like that. And down. Like there. Quick, nobody move. <laughs> Not the time for stubbornness. Not the time for stubbornness. Do I move it? Oh gosh. Where's my template? There you are. I think there is good. stressful. Stay. Okay. Oh gosh, I got this one inside. look fairly even. <laughs> I think they do so far. I think so. How much tape though? Oh, I didn't think about that fact. <laughs> okay, they'll be a little off. But I don't think they'll be too bad though. So now where do you go? Here and here. You gonna reach? I think you'll reach, yeah. Or was it gonna be just off again? I think it might be just a smidgen too short. Just a smidgen. How about you? Are you a smidgen? Oh no, I think you're perfect. I think. Try this one. Going that way, it means we need to be like this. Alright, alright, alright. I don't think I got my tape right. Okay. That should be like there. And then down there. Does it look like they do, maybe? Hmm. This is not an exact science. What does that look like? Oh, 
I mean, it kind of looks like it. I don't think it's that bad. I gotta follow. What does that say? <laughs> Maisie. Thank you so much for the follow. What are you up to tonight? I am working on a very interesting kind of cut paper window with a scene underneath and I just finished the lattice work. So you made it just in time for the reveal of the windows. And then we'll have to do some cleanup work. Because there's a lot of tape that has gone into making this. <laughs> Shall we turn it over? Shall we stop messing with it? Flip that window. <laughs> there we go. Cut it free here. watched any good shows lately. My boyfriend and I have been watching Vikings Valhalla and it has been very good. We have also heard very good things about The Last of Us that just came out. We're gonna have to watch that one. Here it goes. Ah. <laughs> Do they look like little windows? There is a lot of tape though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to clean that up. Oh, and I didn't paint the inside of the door frames brown. That's gonna call for a detail brush. All right, let's see if we can clean this up a tad. Because there is so much tape just hanging out. Hi, Nimbus. Come to visit me. Yeah, you get a kitty friend walking by saying hi. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get. Oh, so much tape. All this tape to skedaddle. So that's not going to look nice in our window. That one came off. What about this one here? I think next time I should use something other than this tape. best tape for this project, but we'll see if we can make it work. It is the first time we've tried this. Who knows, maybe it'll become a cool thing. I'll really have to get it down. <laughs> Here we go. Let go here too. There's a lot. There we go. Don't try this at home, folks. Knives are pointy. <laughs> Always adult supervision. <laughs> Master rated me with nine viewers. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much, Pork. Well, hello.
There, shout out for Pork. Oh, I love the dancing. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> How did the game go? I heard Tricky laughing up a storm and swearing and everything else over there. You guys must have been having a good time. I'm glad you're enjoying Sekiro. Just finished with Turn Up and my Tricky. Well, thanks so much for the raid, Pork. I appreciate it. I just finished crafting these windows and I'm cutting off the tape remnants. And what I'm going to do is have them open a little bit. And I'm going to have a painting underneath of it. And it's going to look like an, kind of like an open window. At least that's the idea. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but I'm just trying to clean up some of this tape that's kind of absolutely everywhere. So there's just so much of it. And that doesn't need to be. There. That's dope. I hope it is. <laughs> Do I look less like a ghost? Played with my settings, as you suggested. So hopefully it is less ghost. <laughs> there we go. Oop. All right, so now for the inside parts. I think I've decided at least part of what I want to have for the inside scene. did forget a step in my excitement, though. I'm gonna have to do some correcting things, I think. No weird lighting going on. Oh, good. <laughs> Just pale old me. Ah, covered in tape. <gasps> Angry Turnip is now following. Thank you, Turnip. You know, turnips actually came up in stream earlier. Blabby and I were talking about the Game of Thrones cookbook, and she went ahead and bought it. She was very excited, and I was telling her how the buttered turnips were my favorite thing. They were so good. And I really want to make them again. <laughs> Tricky rating of the party one! Thank you, Tricky! <laughs> Shout out to Tricky! <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys had lots of fun. What game are you playing today, Tricky? What was it? Battlegrounds? Or did you guys play Warhammer? <gasps> Someone anonymed you 10 subs! It was not me, darling. I have been head down playing with my tape and my little knife here. I did not do it. DMZ Warzone. Oh, fun. That's exciting. Sounds like you had a good streaming night. It's always nice to have a good day like that. You guys having a fun. Maybe that's when I heard you yelling. <laughs> It's just so tiny. I mean, I do this to myself. I guess I could have made it bigger, but I like making small paintings. What can I say? It's just a thing I enjoy. Like three minutes ago, frazzled you. What? Jeez. Oh. The music. It must go on. That would be frazzling, especially when you're almost done. <laughs> That's fun that it was an anonymous. Wonder if it was somebody we know. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. I think in here it needs to go. Let go. There we go. I got it. Itty bitty piece of tape. 
not defeat me. Okay, I think I cleaned up the tape enough on that one. Now it's this one's turn. Oh man, I'm gonna have to just figure out how to clean my, my desk space. <laughs> it's covered in a tiny tape. <laughs> So tricky. What do you what do you think? I was thinking of doing a moon, like a big moon in the background. And then maybe like a window box. I don't know. But the moon I think would be fun. Ooh, or I could do like a whole little like mountain scene with a forest. That could be cute. I think I might end up doing that plan where I do the other half of this tomorrow. <laughs> it's getting late for me. It's already done. <laughs> and this window took so much longer than I anticipated. But I want to get it right. <laughs> Here we go. Moon sounds pretty, right, Blobby? I thought that would be kind of cool. Someone's feeding and hydrating the Xeno. No, it looks like it's a tricky. <laughs> He's so cute. Best extension. Do you recommend? 10 out of 10. Actually, added to the panel, too, in case people were interested in that part of it. Didn't know. This little inside bit here. It's trying to be sneaky. Your Tamagotchi was hungry looking. I know, right? He's a xenomorph. He's always hungry. Always on the hunt. <laughs> For a new person. <laughs>
I almost feel like I need a marker. <laughs> hard. Come on, stubborn tape. Let go. <laughs> Does anyone else have any fun plans for your evening? I think after this, I'm gonna go to bed. I am not a late night person. And plus, I have to stream in the morning. <laughs> Go. Gotcha. <laughs> making dinner? Ooh. What you making? That sounds great. I think they look pretty good. All right, let's see if I can use my itty bitty tiny brush and try to like fix some of these like really white edges. Maybe I need a bigger brush. Definitely bed soon. Almost 11 p.m. here. Oh my gosh, not so late. <laughs> steak and potatoes for dinner. Man, that sounds great. Come over here and make me dinner. <laughs> there. So I don't want to get it too much on here. There we go. Spread it out a bit. have to paint the underside too because I kind of want the window to be open but there's so much tape on it definitely gonna have to like glue next time I think like next time will be glue maybe I won't have these ones open maybe I'll just have these ones closed this time since there are some things I would like to change maybe I'll have to make another one People yelling outside. It's late. Go to bed, crazy people. <laughs> no late night shen shenanigans in the park behind my house, please. <laughs> my hair, at least we can try and clean up some of these very, very white edges. Maybe it won't stand out quite so much. I wanted to do the inside ones and I totally forgot. Saying like, first time project, definitely notes for next time. Definitely some notes. Better, but like the tape's not gonna paint, so it's unfortunate. Love the windows, thanks! So they're gonna be like this, and there's gonna be a scene underneath them, like a painting. But unfortunately, I wanted them kind of open, but because they're so white underneath, I'm thinking maybe that won't work. So yeah, that might have to be the, the next project. Okay. 
be, maybe I can do it to the inside bits too. Ah. So many little, see they got so white. them to be quite so quite so white on the inside. Mm, but now I'm getting more pigment on the actual frame. Hmm. Hmm. What to do, what to do. <clears throat> yeah, that's working okay, I guess get some brown on those, but I think that's all right. There. As long as it doesn't dry too, too strangely. I think it looks better already. It's probably hard to see what I'm doing, sorry. <laughs> it's very delicate work. <laughs> I feel like I'm making like a paper dollhouse. <laughs> That'd be a project. Oh. This side next. The inside part here. Get in there. Ooh, falling over. Don't break on me now, you delicate little thing. There. Okay, and then on the top. I think I'll feel much better after this is fixed a little bit. The little things that make all the difference, right? And not just in paintings. In life. <laughs> there. Okay. Next. dreaming about what to put behind this window. Like a moon? A colored moon? A white moon? A yellow moon? <laughs> I've done red moon before, I've done a blue moon before, I did a kind of yellowy moon and a white moon. Then do we do add, add something else? And then what do I call it? It's supposed to name your work, right? So question, purple moon? I don't know about that one. I don't think about that one. That might be a little outrageous. Do you have low light comp on your webcam? I do not know, let me see. I will have to go into the settings one second here. If I have a lamp, I have two of my four bulbs on above me. Because four was too many. On the second stand. Let me see. Let me go to a bigger one so I can see it. Actually, no, this is fine. Second tab, the configure video page for webcam. Okay, let me see. Properties, configure video, second tab. 
I do not have it on. Were you hoping I did? I'm trying to fix my pail. <laughs> usually this dark in here. It'll be better tomorrow when I'm streaming during the day, because I am right by a window. But no, the button is not checked. The little box. Not checked. But with the natural light tomorrow, I will be less ghosty. <laughs> but I couldn't wait. I wanted to get started on the windows. I was too excited. Poor patience. That's good. I'm not trying to fix your pail. Just wanna... Your exposure seems high. Is the light behind you super saturated? Yeah. It's actually not that bright that late. I don't know what I would change. I mean, I have the contrast like kind of turned down because when it was really high, it also made me look really pale. The saturation says it's at 72. That's just the auto that it was on. I didn't mess with that. Exposure must be cranked. Exposure is at negative six. Oh, it's at auto, technically. Should I should I unclick the auto? I'm trying to fix my salt light. It is a very cute salt light. It's not doing it justice. I mean, I can unclick the auto. We'll see what happens. It got a lot darker in here. <laughs> the light is still really bright, though. <laughs> tear it down more. You can tear it up. It's brighter now. Leave it on auto, maybe? <laughs> How was that? <laughs> so now there's... <laughs>So now those other lights you had may be useful? What do you mean? The lights above me? I don't like using those ones because they make really harsh shadows from my glasses. And I have all my other lights turned on besides the other, other two directly above me. got all the little white spots covered that I can. Do that one. There. Alright, what did you want me to do, Pork? You wanted me to un-auto so it's darker. <laughs> good no matter what my salt light, though. Not, not looking good for the camera. <laughs> it just seems dark when I turn the auto off, though. And if I turn it back up, it's what the auto had. <laughs> it up a bit if you want it. I mean, that's what the auto had it on. If I turn it up one more, it's too much. Just leave the auto and it seems to work alright. 
I know, I've been messing with it too. It's really weird. But I think it's doing alright. It's not awful. Like I said, I'll have to play again, play with it again. Once I get like daylight in my window, which is over here. Because then I might not need the overhead ones at all. ring light helps turn up the ring light we will turn up the ring light at pork's request <laughs> there, there's the ring light up a little more it starts reflecting back at some point <laughs> seems real bright to me and I feel real shiny. <laughs> yeah. See, I feel a little less shiny with that amount of light. I think I see what he's saying. Turn the auto off and then the ring light up. All right. right there. We'll mess with it, guys. We'll see. The exposure? Turn it down. Like that? That's a little better, I guess. It seems kind of dark in here now. <laughs> I look a little less ghosty. You guys like that better? More, even brighter? Like that? Let me get that one. I mean, my art's gonna look great now. The light's brighter. <laughs> I think my hair looks really dark. Okay. I think that looks perfect, I think. You think that one's good? Okay. I mean, there are different colors of the lights. I liked this one because it was kind of in between. Back it doesn't feel so bright now. I think it was the overall too bright. No more overexposure. Okay, gotcha. And look, you can see the art even better. <laughs> And then it'll be a lot brighter in here when it's actually daylight. Thank you, Pork and Blabby. Turn on the overhead to test it. Okay, I'll go back. Hang on. It's an app. They're smart bulbs. Oh, hang on. Hey, there's so many things happening on the phone. Okay. Here the bulbs. Look at me and Pork figuring it out. I'll bring the flashlight now. <laughs> I got it. I have the bulbs turned really far down. <laughs> See, then I get the weird little thingies on my face through my glasses. I was not a fan. And I can turn them down a little bit to match the others. I hear you getting the flashlight tricky. Don't even think about it. You're a menace. Guys, what have you done? See, there he is. I told you. Okay. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it's so bright. Put it away. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Those spotlights. <laughs> it's the sun, babe. No, I don't need that. You go away. To get this one to be the number I want. There, it's close enough. Hi, darling. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Anna. <laughs> Jesus. Right? <laughs> See, the only reason I don't like that is because the I look like I have those little football lines on my cheeks. Yeah, I can help with that. So we come in now from here and there. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> It's a rag! Oh my gosh, could you not? Not, not with the rave, please, thank you. Love you guys, sorry. But it's just so, so bright. Maybe one of them? Or maybe this one. Yeah, the third one would probably be a little bit better. A little brighter? It can be a little dark in here, it is nighttime. But I'm okay with it. It'll be plenty bright tomorrow. Pork, did you like my flashlight? Uh, yes, my, my eyeballs were a fan, darling. Ugh, I can't see what I'm drawing now. <laughs> Why not? My eyes hurt. <laughs> Why should your eyes hurt? There's a flashlight in them. What? I know. Who would do such a thing? Who would do such a, such a thing? So mean. I am not. So mean. People are going to think I'm real beat to you. <laughs> Guess who's on here tonight, darling? Pork. No, a certain, certain sister of mine. Don't say her name. The younger one? Yeah. Or the middle one? The younger one. Hi, younger sister. <laughs> She's making dinner. What's for dinner? She made an account. So she could follow me. Oh. Maisie. Maisie is cranky. <laughs> so cute. Maisie doesn't like me, so it's fine. <laughs> Maisie's a good kitty. Maisie was unimpressed by the tricky. Yeah. She's wow. Just. What do you think, darling? Aren't they cool? Yeah, they look great, darling. Is that because I didn't paint the back of it and there's so much tape on them? I'm not sure if I'm gonna have them like be really open. Maybe I'll just do like a little bit. But even if they're just down, it's a layer, you know. You're telling me you're doing homework for tomorrow. Yeah, because I think it took me a little longer than I had anticipated, so... Gotcha. Well, I'll I, stop disturbing I think sure. I'm almost done. I think I'll paint the, the background tomorrow. Those people are tired of hearing my voice. <laughs> well, it's been a good time. You over here spoiling me with subs and such. So Twitch messed up, and that, the oh. first time I tried to give you subs, I gifted myself subs. Oh. And then... And then I gifted you subs. <laughs> well, All the subs. Which is... Which is foobar. <laughs> I really think that the around the door little, like, little knobs makes it pop. And then someone gifted me 10 subs. I saw that. You said that. That was That's awesome. Ridiculous. Sorry. Sorry, Nevis. Poor Nevis. Poor kitty apples. Apples. <laughs> I got a sub from Tricky. I think everyone's gotten their subs from Tricky. Except Breath, I think. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> for his channel, too? Man, just spending his money. But seriously, thank you guys for the, the lighting camera help. That is much better. I'm still pale, but I don't look like a ghost. <laughs> I just look like me. <laughs> it is definitely, definitely better. Gosh, come here. I don't, we're gonna have to have like a cleanup stream. Just to clean up my, my mess here that I've made. Oh, not for yours, just for his channel. I think that's what he. Oh! Oh, that's what he's talking about? The accident? <laughs> I'll have to tell him that when he comes back. Oh, he left my door open. Apparently. Menace. <laughs> Well, that's okay. You can go watch him play, too. <laughs> They're definitely an entertaining group. I remember I was starting to watch all these streamers. I'm like, yeah, this is really cool. And he watched, like, Asmongold and stuff. 
was like, you should watch some of these small streamers I've been watching. He's like, Psh, I don't need time for small streamers. I'm like, I don't know, they're really cool. I like them. <laughs> and he did, and now he's got all these friends. <laughs> Alright, so it has been almost three hours of just literally making windows. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stop, stop it here with the windows. Or call it good with the windows. And tomorrow we're gonna make something to go actually go under the windows. And we're gonna do a little scene. And I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna try and make them kind of open a bit. Or if I'm gonna just have them lay down straight. But I'll have to figure it out. So if you guys are not busy tomorrow at 11 central time, I am. I will be doing some actual filling in of the background. They look great. Thank you. Well, you've been you've been here for most of it. You know how like tedious and <laughs> such it was. I hope it pays off. <laughs> Can't wait to see it finished. I oh, know me too. I wish I could just like wake up tomorrow and it would just be done. You know? <laughs> but thank you so much for everyone hanging out. Thank you for the raids. I had a pork raid. I had a tricky raid. Let's see what else is happening. We had some follows today. Let's see here. We had Aries on Whole Grand Gamer and Remy today, and then we had Blabby and a Gigi. Uh, Amazie followed, Turnip followed, and then we had some bits from some, I think bits from Tricky. So it was a pretty good stream, and I'm excited. I think we should probably go raid somebody, see if anyone we know is on, or if we can raid an artist. Ooh, I know what we'll do. Deep is on. Let's raid Deep. He's playing one of my favorite games to watch, which is Elden Ring. It is quite awesome, and he is a very chill man. So we will give him some love. He's got cool vibes, he's got cool lighting. He has a good time. And I hope to see you guys here tomorrow. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I'll have to think of something fun to put behind the windows. It has to be kind of epic. <laughs> Bye.